In this video, we will have a look at UV unwrapping so we can apply textures. And sometimes this process can be really complicated, but we are going to see one of the easiest ways in Blender which is great for beginners. And basically UV mapping is the process that allows us to project a texture or an image into a 3D object. And as you can see in those images, we can achieve that by trying to imagine our object being planified, like if it was a piece of paper, and you would have to make a cut in some edges to planify it. Ok, cool, now that you have a rough idea of what the UV maps are, we are ready to see how it's done in Blender. But first, I have to quickly show you something about the interface of Blender. And basically, if you go to this left bottom corner, right here, if you press left click and hold and then drag to your right, you will open a new window. And if you press again and hold and push up, you will open another window. Now the question is how we can close this? Well, we can basically do the same, but for the opposite side. So basically we hold and drag to the left, we hold and drag to the bottom, and we hold and drag to the left, and we go back to our default viewport. Now, let's open only one, just like this. Let's just press M to hide the right panel and T to hide the left panel. Ok, and now if you go down here and press on this icon, this menu will open and we can select UV slash image editor. Ok, great. Now, I'm just gonna push this a little bit up, just like this. And now we can work in the UVs of our SMG9. And basically the easiest way to do UV unwrap, if you press tab to enter in edit mode, you can select everything with A and press U to select smart UV project. And now you can press OK. I just want to show you that, as you can see right here, the faces of our main frame of the SMG9 aren't proportional. And to see how this is affecting our SMG9, we need to create a new image in this button, rename it to UV Grid, in the generated type select UV Grid and press OK. And now we can press in the N key to show the right panel, go down here and select Stretch, just so we can see this a little bit better. And now it would be cool if we could see this UV Grid in our weapon. And for that we only need to create a new material in this sphere icon. Let me just push this down. Now we can press the plus sign to create a new slot and then if you press this plus sign you will create a new material. Rename it to UV Grid and oh, as you may notice I have Cycles Render selected. We are always going to work in Cycles Render. Blender Render is just a weaker render compared to Cycles. Cycles is really powerful. So let's switch to Cycles. And down here, if you press this icon, this menu will show again and we can select the node editor. And this at first seems really, really scary and not very appealing, but I'm gonna walk you through and with time you are going to be fine. So let's press Shift A to create a new node and we want to go to the texture and select image texture. And we need an image texture because we want to project our UV grid into our weapon. And basically the color of the image texture is an output and the color we see in the diffuse shader it's an input, which means that this will allow us to pass an image to the diffuse shader. So let's connect them, you can click and drag just like this and let's change our viewport shading to texture and at first we don't see anything because we need to select this drop down menu so we can choose the UV grid image that we have just created. And basically, as you may notice, you can see that the squares, they are stretched and that's a problem when we are texturing. And we want something like this, where all the squares are straight. Because if we would apply the texture right now, the texture would be stretched. So, there is an easy way to fix this. And for that, we want to go to the object mode with tap. And if we press N to show the right panel, if you scroll up, you can see this scale right here which is not even, it's not proportional. And this is why our UV maps are all deformed and unproportional. And we can fix that by pressing Ctrl A with the main frame selected and select Scale. 
Now if you take a look to the scale in this right panel, it's 1 in the X, 1 in the Y and 1 in Z. And it means that now this is the default scale of this object. And if you enter in edit mode with tab, select everything with A, if you press U and select again smart UV project, you can press OK and you will notice on the left that the faces of our main frame are proportional, they are no longer stretched. Which is great, because now if you press Shift Z on the right window, you will notice that all the squares are even. And now let's basically press Z to go, to go back to our solid view. And let's press Tab to go to object mode, so we can basically do the same for the other pieces. And after you have applied the scale to all the objects, I'm just gonna switch my view to texture. And now I'm gonna select every object, minus the main frame. You can do it with the right click and with shift. And the last object that we want to select is the main frame, because we want to copy the material with Ctrl L. And Ctrl L basically will create a link between all the objects that we have selected with the last one. So basically this allows us to create a link with materials. And now they all turn dark grey, because they don't have the UV maps. Now we basically want to select an object, enter in edit mode, select everything with A and press Smart UV Project and then press OK. As, as you can see in the left view, the UV maps are all straight, are all proportional and in the right view we can see that the squares are all squarey. Let's do that for the trigger and for the other objects. And as you do it, you may notice that some objects have smaller squares than others. And if we would apply textures right now, it would be a problem because some textures would be smaller than others. And to fix that, we can go to object mode, select all the objects, and just to be sure that we don't mess this up, let's press Shift D to create a, a duplicate, and press M to move to another layer. And we can select the second layer, like this. Now, as you can see, it's in second layer, you can switch right here. Ok, let's go to the first layer, where we have our original SMG9, select everything and now press Ctrl J to join everything. And now this is one object and if you press Tab, you will see that everything is grouped. Select everything with A and in the left window, as you can see, all the UVs are overlapped and it's a mess. And we can fix that by pressing Ctrl A you will notice in the right window that all the squares have the same size, which is great. But in our left window we still have a problem, because all the UVs have to be inside our square. And we can fix that by pressing Ctrl P, which will pack the islands into that small square. And now if you take a look in the right window you can see that everything has the same size and all the UVs fit in the left square which is great. And we are done with our UV maps. Of course, this is the easiest way. It works with a lot of objects. And in the next tutorial, we are going to see how to apply textures and export to Unity. So thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe if you enjoyed the tutorial and for weekly Blender and game development tutorials. And I hope to see you in the next video.